We're here today with Max. We got Bud Fisher, first time saltwater fishing. Absolutely. Dude, are you ready? I am ready to roll. Let's go. Let's go. Here, pull up, up, up. Buck's gotta get a picture of his first pull, 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 pull. You gotta pump, you gotta pump. You gotta be pulling, you gotta pump. Throw on him, throw on him, throw on him, throw on him. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Where do you want him? First Benita, man, how did that fight? <laughs> a little harder than a bat. I'm out of breath. I'm out of breath, that's how far. Yeah. Oh, that thing pulls. That's unreal. Yeah, that thing pulls. You want something really exciting? Yeah, send it back in the water quickly. <laughs> that was Fumbo Bass, baby! <laughs> oh, you want to test Fumbo Bass, baby? I wanted a dinosaur. That's, that's a six, seven, five. Oh! <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, here it is, here it is. Oh, oh, oh. Let me get, let me get. I'm gonna try to pull it. Oh. <laughs> Dude, oh how crazy gosh. was that? That was You insane. catch smallmouth bass, bro. That's the biggest one in the world right That's there. That's a hundred times bigger than any smallmouth bass I've ever caught. Like, that is ridiculous. Bro, how cool on is the, that? The top water bites on. You like top water bite? <laughs> that was crazy. That's that a top water bite. 600 pounds, bro. You oh like that? Oh my gosh. That was stupid. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's a giant snook, giant snook, giant snook. Oh, oh, oh. Big snook, Max. Max, get the net, get the net. It's a 40 incher, dude. It's a 40 incher. Hurry, before you get in, before you get in. Oh, dinosaur snook, baby. <laughs> Look at the size that. of that snook, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that's probably a 40 right there, man. Dude, he's 20, That's 25 pounds all day. The fat one, oh fat gosh. spawning fish. Nice one, dude. Dude, unbelievable. Swim down, dude. Swim down. He's good, he's good, he's good, he's good, he's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. Well, that was unexpected. <laughs> Looking for a bonito, we're way off the structure, guys. Caught a 41 inch snook, how about that? Unbelievable. But we need to get you a snook. Let's do it. I was trying to get a bonita, man. <laughs> I know we, he's I'll never, he's never caught a snook. That's no, the first thing you've ever seen, yeah. right? Yeah. Isn't that oh, a cool yeah. fish? Oh, we're awesome, gonna get some more. That was a big, that was a big snook, dude. That was a giant snook, dude. Like 20, 25 pounds, bro. Yeah. We came out here to catch bait, then we caught a bonita, then we caught another bonita, and then we were just having an absolute blast because it's Goliath Poopers. Our goal today is to actually hit these sea walls and these canals. There's some giant jacks and snook there. So the bait catching session turned into like, okay, we don't want to leave now because it's so <laughs> unbelievable here. Yeah. We just caught a giant <laughs> snook. Yeah. But we have to catch these, these uh, sea walls right now because the tide is about to change. So we got to go there now. We're gonna come back over here, but I promise, bro. I, don't I know wanna you don't want to leave. <laughs> I don't want to leave. <laughs> All right, let's do it. You ready? Yeah. Let's go get you a snook, bro. Let's do it. We're looking for some snook right now. Get her on these rocks. The tide bite, the little window. Gotta get it right there. It's a little close, but. Perfect, yeah. Perfect. Let it just Feel a little bit, a little bit. You got him on, man. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, set it, set it, set it, set it. No? No. no. Thank you. Still a nice fish though. Got him. There he is guys, second suck of the day. Not as big as that first one. No shark? Oh I guess you see him. Oh I get so distracted, I don't know why. It's just crazy out here guys. It's like a squirrel. Let's let him go. Fish on. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Where is it? Where is it? Let's see ya. Let's get a look at him. You got a gummy. Got a gummy. Oh, there he is. Yeah. First shark, baby. Are we, uh, we're gonna bring him in the boat. Are we gonna, oh, no! Came off. 
No. <laughs> I'll get it. Ah, I got news for you, buddy. Bud. A lot more where that came from. <laughs> yeah, a lot more. Uh, but it does hurt. Right it does in the hurt. feels. You know what? I think we saw a couple of them on the rocks there, man. Probably, probably another one. All right. Let's Let's go go Shoot. Hey, look at me. Look at me. I'm the captain now. Apparently. <laughs> Did that come with the captain license too? <laughs> there's a, it's there's inside. A, there's a captain, they used to have a, a toy captain and license a captain in the box, guys. <laughs> You don't have to go to you don't have to go to school, just buy a box of Captain Crunch, you can be a captain. It's that easy. Yes. No! That was a big snug. Oh. That was a giant. That was a big boy. Oh no. <laughs> we'll get another one, bro. We'll get another oh, one. Man. Look at that. It right close, off. Close. Close, close. Oh, that hurts. Yeah. That really hurts. All right, so on this piling, you know, you have the current sweeping through here, and then that corner goes down another four feet or so. So you got to play them out. And you make a cast, try to get them to that corner, right? When your line starts passing the corner, let it sweep. And if you get that bite, down here, dude. Just quick pumps, getting them out really fast. That first three seconds is the most important, like getting I said. Under there. Yeah, and then if you feel like he's pulling you in there like that last one did, because he was awkward, down here. Because I mean, stick the whole rod in the water. Because yeah. you just want the tip of that rod to be fighting under the pile. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, 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 oh. Big snook, big snook, big snook, big snook. Which is your size? Come on, come on, come on. <gasps> Goliath, little baby Goliath. <gasps> Look at him. It's a baby Goliath, baby. Oh my god. Here, hold my arm, hold my arm. Bro, yes. how hard did that pull? <laughs> baby Goliath. Gooper, baby. Oh, that's unreal. Dude, how cool is that fish? How pretty is that fish? That is a cool looking fish. It's like a big smallmouth bass, but oh. way more powerful, right? Oh, yeah. Dude, you've caught smallmouths that big, haven't you? Not that big. I've saw some, caught some good smallies and they don't pull like that. That, that thing it felt like a really. log. <laughs> it felt like a log. The, the amount of power that fish can generate oh is incredible. Gosh. His big brother was out there at 400 pounds too. Oh, he Same. was giant. <laughs> Spot. That's called combat. <laughs> That's called combat. How hard was he Oh my pulling, gosh. Dude? How hard was he Pulled pulling? me right in. How hard was that? <laughs> dude, he dragged me right under there. Yeah. He just pulled me. He had his he way with me. You, right? He freight trained me. <laughs> we were having a lot of fun fishing the bridge, and within 40 minutes, all of our bait died. And we're going to show you why right now. Look at around us, guys. Toxic algae. This is a huge problem in Florida that maybe you guys haven't heard about yet, but it's really bad. And it's getting progressively worse. All of our waters that are getting linked to Okeechobee from all the runoff, it's just, it's, they're dying. Our estuaries are dying, our seagrass is dying, our inshore fisheries are starting to really slow down compared to what they used to be. Our, even our offshore fish is being affected. Everything's being affected by this, it's really bad. Max, I mean, we still caught fish today. I yeah. Mean, still, we still found fish, but we can't fish spots that normally are really good because by the time you get back there, your bait's already dead. There's a little too much fresh water in the intercoastal. Yeah. And this green, nasty algae is being flushed out. And you guys can see, like, look all around us. Like, this is, this is this supposed to be salt water. This looks like a lake. Yeah, man, it's just really, really unfortunate. I mean, you know, it's, this whole situation is just, you know, we're in dire need of help right now. This is further back in the river right here. Uh, so, you know, closer to the inlet is still fishable. It's still- Yeah, we caught fish today. Yeah, you know, we caught fish today. And you can still come down here and, and hire a guy, you know, hire a captain, go your, your, to your local bait shop and buy bait, you know, and still fish and catch fish. But it's just, you know, that this whole back area, I mean, we used to fish back here. It's, it's used part to of our back home. Here, man. Yeah, I mean, there's spots all over the place you can't go because your bait's dying. So, you know, like I said, it's really unfortunate and there's still ways around it, but this should not be a thing. This well, should not the, be here. Yeah, right guys, now. and the good news is there are two organizations that I, that I work with that are trying to fix the problem. Captains for Clean Water and Bullsugar.org. They're trying to fix this. If you guys don't know them, make sure you go check them out. They're trying to fix this problem. I mean, this is, this is a real problem. This, this water is flowing east and west. It's man-made structures. It's supposed to flow south into the Everglades. This is, uh, this is a big problem we got to fix here in Florida. So if you guys live in Florida and you don't know about this, or if you, do, if you vacation in Florida and don't know this, 
you know, try to bring awareness to this situation because this is it's starting to get bad. So, I mean, and we're the guys... only ones that can help it. You know, you yeah. got you got to make your voice heard by showing up at the voting booths. You know, if if someone has big sugar backing them, you know, politically donating a lot of money to them, if if somebody you know wants mosaic and the phosphate mines and all that as you know a local representative of the state to keep going and you know plowing down all of our ecosystem and sending all this water everywhere that doesn't belong here then you know if, if you see signs of that don't vote for them it makes a huge difference and we're starting to see that you know more more candidates are starting to realize that it's going to make a difference in the polls so you know you guys do have a voice it just you know it takes all of us that's all that's you know? right that's, that's, takes that's all really of good us, bro so it's really good yeah. anyways let's get out of here before we get sick yeah dude this is uh you actually you guys can get sick by breathing this in, so we gotta we gotta get out of here. But you guys can see this. This is it's not natural. Let's go, let's go, bro. I can't stand anymore. Yeah. Yesterday, all our bait died due to the nasty blue green algae. But today, we're at a new spot. There's no. There should be. There should be no algae here. And Bud wants to get a shark. How long do you want to get a shark for, bro? My entire life. Entire Since the day I was born. Life. Since I was born. So you came out of the womb and you're like, let's go shark, shark. fishing. <laughs> let's go shark yes. fishing. <laughs> let's go shark fishing, people. We came out here to get a bonita and a shark. So we got the bonita. We're hooked up to the shark now. We saw wahoo. We saw sailfish. It's, it's a full moon today. It's going off out here. Bud was really sick. I get sick too, so no hard feelings there at all. Oh. And his adrenaline just kicked on. Like, how, how, oh wait, dude, goodness. your heart is racing right oh. now. Dude, the no boat words. was getting turned like a rag doll. I've got no words. There he is, bro. But how powerful is that? Oh my gosh. It's, it's crazy. Yeah. I feel like a little boy. You feel like a little boy? <laughs> Woo! He he back here. You got the this. sandbar, so guys, the sandbar bit the leader. No. Yes. So we gotta wow. I have no idea the condition of the leader. Wow. So we gotta be careful. We gotta we gotta kinda of baby it until I can do it. Good thing is it's a 700 pound mono and it doesn't they don't bite through that easy. Yeah, she's on the shot, but I Hey bud, how crazy are those sandbars, dude? They went you had them going nuts. He would have jumped in the boat if I kept going. I think he bit the boat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, they came they're coming in on it, dude. Look at this thing. That's a huge shark, David. <laughs> Woo! You said you wanted to catch a shark? I did indeed. Is there this he the is. shark you wanted? There he is. This is him. Holy, Holy smokes. That's a giant, dude. Look at wow. that. Here we go. Put it, put it all the way in. All the way in. Right yeah. Now cut. Yeah. So we don't have any strength left. Here, I'll there we go. There he goes, baby. Bye. Oh my gosh, dude. Thank you so much. Giant shark. That was the time of my I life. Wouldn't, I wouldn't let you leave here without catching one. Oh my gosh. That was incredible. Like, uh, that was unbelievable. Dude. I and mean, we did it on a skiff, guys. Just giant. Dude, Max, we just slay giant fish on this thing, bro. Oh yeah. That shark is more than half the size of this boat in length. How long is the boat? Uh, 17.9. Yeah, so he's, he's, he's nine, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. He's just half the size of the boat, for sure. Wow. What a big shark, guys. What a great time. Oh my gosh. Thank you, check you out, so much. Check out Bud Fisher. Great guy. If you guys love hunting, this guy's pretty cool. Check him out. Link in the description. If you guys want to go on an awesome fishing trip, Max right here. Look at him right there. That's the guy right there. Give him a call. Go to his website. Link is also in the description. If you guys need the, any fishing gear, go to thefishingshop.com. We got all the stuff you need. Also, guys, make sure you subscribe, smash that like button, and we'll see you next time. Black Tip H Fishing is brought to you by Frog Tongs, designed for you, created for the outdoors, and Sudacore Nutrition.